All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back for an updated look at Cool Music, which is a music bot that allows you to share great music with your friends on your Discord server. I'll be showing you how to invite it to your server, how to use it, and how to enjoy all those delectable tunes. So Cool Music has had a bit of an update slash overhaul, including a new brand. Before they used to have a red C, now they have kind of like a cool colored C with purple outline. And if you want to add Cool Music Bot to your server, all you have to do is go up to your server settings, go to the app directory here in the middle, and then type in Cool Music. And then you'll find it here at the top, running on over 32,000 servers. And then if you look here in the information, it tells you it runs off of Apple Music, Bandcamp, local links on HTTP, Spotify, SoundCloud, Twitch, and Vimeo. I actually don't really know a lot of bots, pretty much any that run off of Vimeo. And I think I've only run into one other besides cool music that does anything from Twitch, so that's pretty cool. And then if you need assistance with the bot, they are more than happy to help you over at their support server, which is linked down here at the bottom. So just click this big blue button to add it to your server. It'll ask you which one you want to add it to in this little pull down. And then once you authorize it, it will appear. So once you've got Cool Music Bot on your server, it'll appear in the right hand sidebar over here. Then you can go ahead and type slash help, where you can get a feel for all of the different controls that it has. Now I will say the one gripe I have about the way the bot works now is that you gotta kind of go through all the different categories of controls from filter commands to information to figure out what everything does instead of just one big placard. But the fact that it's split up I think is more because there's a lot of different options that this bot gives you and it might become a massive list that gets kind of cluttered. So they've got a whole feature rich selection of music commands, which you'd probably come to expect. You can search on SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify. You can play music by name, search for music by name, drop in a link, skip, clear cue, manage your cue of music sounds, all that stuff. They have a whole host of different filters that you can use. Bass boost, BGM, nightcore pop, We've got your standard suite of informational commands to figure out what the ping is for the bot, the bot's current profile, inviting it to your server, all of that jazz, all the way down to the playlist controls, which I will go into in a minute, and then looking at how they do their premium, which it looks like it's handled over at Ko-Fi, which is a site that I'm not as familiar with. It's like a Patreon alternative, but they offer you some different perks if you want to pay for premium. But we'll just start up here at the top with music and we'll start playing some tunes so you can hear what the bot can do. So my standard is I just play songs by name and that allows bots to just pull it off of whatever platform is the most convenient. And in this case, it's any platform except music when it comes to cool music bot. So we'll just start. First, make sure you're in an actual voice chat channel, no music bot's gonna play music for you if you're not in one and ready to listen. And we'll type in play, and we'll just pop in Alan Walker's Dreamer. Now I actually think that this bot allows you to just grab by just author name. So I could type in slash play Alan Walker, and it'll just grab me an Alan Walker song. In this case, it grabbed me Spectre, which isn't a bad choice. And then I can just continue to add different songs like I'll play Born Bonfire and then Plague Home. And so, oops, that, I typed that one in too fast and it had an, a, a, a hiccup. There we go. So then I added Plague Home. So that's all good. If you type in too many the bot assumes that you're spamming. So just to keep cut down on lag from people trying to spam commands, there is a built-in limitation to that. And it'll tell you to wait a second before you type in another command. So I can understand that. 
And then we can take a look at our queue of songs. So this is our current queue of songs. Spectre, Bonfire, and Home are coming up next with Dreamer under the Now Playing section. And if I actually hover over here, it actually tells me what platform Dreamer is currently being played off of. It's being played off of Spotify, and I can click on this, and it'll take me to Spotify to see that track. So that's actually pretty cool. And you can see all of these different tracks right now are all being played off of Spotify which means I could use the search feature to search Spotify for things. So let's search Spotify. And let's see what they've got on Spotify for Alan Walker, just for fun. So on Spotify, oh, they got a whole bunch of songs I can pick from. So, okay, so I can just, from this drop down menu, pick one that I want to listen to. So let's just throw fade into the queue and then it'll automatically add fade to the queue. And I can search with this same search feature on Apple Music and on SoundCloud and Spotify. So it's all built in natively and works really smoothly. Like I haven't had any lag, although I am doing this at noon on a Tuesday, not exactly during peak hours. So the lag would necessarily be lower than if I did this at like 6 p.m. when everyone's using the bot. But still, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and clear the queue and let's talk about the playlist commands. So one of the things that this bot does, we'll just stop everything as well. So one of the things that the bot also has on board is a built-in playlist system that is Something I've actually wanted from a playlist system for a while, and that is something a bit more simplified. Because a lot of playlists right now, they, you gotta make a playlist name, you gotta remember all your playlist names, you gotta fill the playlist with stuff. It's just kind of messy having to type in 50 commands when all you wanna do is just save a couple of songs that you're currently enjoying to a big long list of songs and then not worry about it. So the way that Cool Music's playlist works is you don't have to create a playlist. You already have a playlist attached to your account. So if I look at my list of songs attached to me that I've already added by typing in slash list, it'll show you some of the ones that I saved when I was testing this program previously. So I've got Bonfire, Home, Runaway, and Alan Walker Spectre on there, like I inputted earlier. And if I want, I can already load these tracks to start playing them right now. I can also remove a track from the list. I can reset my playlist if I don't want to keep anything, or I can save my current queue or the current song to the playlist. So it's just really quick and easy, and I don't have to worry about setting up a playlist name, loading that playlist, and then being able to use it. It just works out of the box. So to show you, <clears throat> let's load all the songs from my playlist. We'll just type in slash load. Ah, so first I gotta play a song, so we'll type in, let's play, oh, I don't know, what's a good one? Syntax Ego. And then I can load my songs from my playlist into the queue right after the currently playing song. So if I type in slash queue, now you can see currently it's playing that first song, but then it's got Bonfire, Home, Runaway, Inspector up next. So I could just te technically I could just skip what I'm listening to now and go straight into my playlist. So it's quick and it's easy. And if I want, I can start this over from the beginning whenever I want. So I can stop this. I can reset the playlist. I believe that was the command for that. Yes, reset. So slash reset resets your personal playlist. <clears throat> so we can type that in and reset it. So now all songs, if I type in slash list, are gone from my playlist, and I can start from scratch. So to do that, all you gotta do is start typing in songs. We'll type in Alan Walker. Uh, maybe we want some hamster dance. We'll type in, oh, 
born out of here. So now I've got a little cue going, and now that I've kind of got songs that I like and I'm kind of enjoying the vibe of whatever is being listened to in the channel with me right now, I can then just save this cue whenever I want. So if we type in slash help, and we look at the playlist commands again, all we have to do is type in save cue and it'll save all of these to our playlist. And then we can type in slash list and then all of those songs that we're currently listening to are now added except for the one that's currently playing. So only the ones in the coming up next queue are added to your playlist. So just keep that in mind, but you can save the current one too. And make sure that's also added to your playlist. So that's really easy. Just remember those two things are separate. So those commands are pretty quick and pretty easy to do. I think the only other command that people would probably be super interested in using, at least right off the bat, because, again, when I'm listening to music of this list of drop down stuff, I personally don't care much about the filters. I don't really care much about extra premium frills and thrills or playlists, although you should always, if you enjoy using something like a bot and you use it a lot, make sure you pay for it because that allows the bot to stick around and continue its development. Same thing with like mods or add-ons or plugins. But I don't personally use much besides the core music features and then maybe like the DJ roles. And there is a DJ role in here. So we can type in slash DJ and we can set a DJ role and I've already got one which is literally just the at DJ role. Now anybody who is in this server and I give them the DJ role, like if I click on myself, and I'm like, oh, I should add the DJ role to this Larry guy. Seems pretty cool. He can handle being the moderator of the bot. This basically just makes them the admin for the music bot. That way, the people who are in the channel with them, they don't have to vote to skip songs by having a majority of the people listening vote to skip. They just have to have the DJ do it, and it makes things a lot simpler. And then if you don't want that role to be DJ anymore, or you don't want to remove the DJ role from all the DJs, you can just type slash DJ reset, and it resets whatever role the DJ is. So that should cover the majority of what you want to do with Cool Music Bot. I like the simplicity, I like the snappiness, and I like that the playlists are a lot quicker and easier to use. You don't have to load one. It's just, you have one all the time. It is you, you are the playlist. You have finally become the ultimate. So let's type in slash Kofi and let's take a look at what you get for perks when you want to use this bot in like a premium form. So if you pay a dollar a month, you get an exclusive sub subscriber badge and role on the support server. To say like, hey, I'm a supporter, I'm a cool guy, which is always nice. Um, it allows you to host giveaways in the server. You get access to the VIP lounge and Discord access. Um, fancy Discord access? I'm not sure what that means. Um, you can also, with $2 a month, you get Deluxe, which is exclusive role in their server. You can host giveaways, access to the VIP lounge. You get a boost of Cool Music 2, so they have two other versions of the bot. There's Cool Music 1 and 2 that you can have multiple versions, it looks like, on your server. And then if you go to the Ultimate for $3 a month, you get three boosts of Cool Music 2, VIP Lounge access, Discord access. I'm still... I'm a little confused as to what some of these perks mean. Like, what does getting boosted by the Cool Music bot mean? versus what does discord access mean because i don't i don't currently have premium but i can jump onto the support server on discord and chat and maybe that's priority access to help from the cool music bot team but you do get some perks for paying for the bot and you get access to additional versions of it like if i scroll up here to cool music's bot server 
They've got Cool Music 1 and they've got Cool Music 2. So there's two versions of the bot that you can use. So that's kind of cool. I like having multiple versions of bots, especially if you have a big server that you want people to come and hang out in. You might want to have two different channels with two different sets of music running. Who knows? And it's nice to only have to have one bot that everyone's familiar with rather than having to have two or three. So there you go. You can check out premium. It's on their Ko-Fi, which you can click on slash Ko-Fi and their link is right here. Ko-Fi.com slash cool music. And remember, you can grab this in the Discord app directory. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.